And we're joined now by the chair of the Senate Republican Conference, member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, John Barrasso. Senator, thank you for joining us again this morning. Let me pick, let's pick up where we just left off with Jake. Did you find his argument convincing for staying in the Iran nuclear talks? Uh, no deal with Iran, George, is a good deal. I Iran is a, straight, is a state sponsor of terrorism. They continue to claim death to America. That we cannot allow them to have a nuclear weapon. I've always felt this administration was too eager for a nuclear deal or any deal uh, with Iran. Uh, I think we should not go forward with one. If they do, it needs to come to the Senate for ratification. This administration wants to send tens of billions of dollars to Iran for a deal that I think is going to be a bad deal for America. Let's talk about Ukraine. Are Republicans prepared to keep giving Ukraine the resources they need to fight this war? Some of your Senate candidates, like J.D. Vance in Ohio, has said we've given Ukraine enough. And Democratic Senator Chris Murphy warned this week that, G that the GOP will hold up additional aid if you win control of Congress. Is he right? Uh, no, there continues to be bipartisan support in the House and in the Senate uh, for weapons to Ukraine. I thought President Biden actually was right at the United Nations when he told other world leaders they had a responsibility to do more in terms of weapons to Ukraine and condemning Russia because Putin will not stop, George, until he is stopped. There's been bipartisan criticism of the administration for being too slow with weapons to Ukraine. We need more advanced weapons, including these advanced drones and, and missile systems. Vladimir Putin continues to use energy as a weapon, uh, both to fund his military uh, and to punish Europe for not standing with him. Uh, that's been a criticism I've had of this administration and its energy policies. We ought to be producing more American energy to help our European allies, also to help get prices down at home, which is why I think the president's numbers in your ABC news poll that just came out are so terrible on the economy. Let me ask you the question I asked Jake Sullivan at the outset. Do you believe that Putin's hold on power is secure? I'm not sure. He is in a deep hole right now, and he's dug this hole. And I thought his statement to the country there uh, really was desperate. Uh, it didn't show really confidence or strength, and desperate people do desperate things. And that's why I think we've seen this nu nuclear threat I think we have to continue to supply Ukraine with the weapons that they need uh, and not be uh, intimidated by this threat. The Foreign Relations Committee is going to have a hearing this Wednesday on what additional things we can do in terms of sanctions. And also, we have a secure briefing on Thursday in the, uh, in the Senate to take a look right at what's happening on the ground in Ukraine. But I will tell you, George, China is watching closely, and what we do will have an impact on what China decides to do with regard to Taiwan. And we have seen them pushing back a bit against Putin as well. I want to ask you about the inves investigation into Donald Trump's handling of classified information. Even though his lawyers have provided no evidence that he declassified the documents, the, Trump said this week that as president, he could declassify documents by thinking about it. Do you agree with that? I've not heard that one before, George. Like, I'll tell you, in terms of national security documents, we have to always use extreme caution. I'm on the Foreign Relations Committee. We deal with classified information all of the time and are always very careful. Uh, I don't know what a, what, anything about the rules for when a president declassifies documents and information. Uh, what I do know is what I'd like to see from a Senate standpoint is I'd like to see the Department of Justice come to us and show us in a classified setting what the information is, what they've done. I thought this, the, the raid at the, at the former president's home, uh, never seen anything like that S before, clearly, well, uh, and has become Senator. political. So I want to get a briefing so that we can then be informed to see what actually happened here. That, that, that was a rhetorical question. You know that a president can't declassify documents by thinking about it. Why can't you say so? I don't think a president can declassify documents by saying so, by thinking about it. Senator Barrasso, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.